Hello and welcome to another video of uh, time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about another important concept of dividing your data into two parts and then evaluating the forecast accuracy. So previously, I talked about calculating the forecasting error as the difference between the predicted values and the actual values. Now there is a problem associated with using this measure to evaluate forecasting uh, accuracy of, of any forecasting method. And that problem is we use the same information to fit the model and forecast the data and the same data to test the forecast accuracy of the model. Let me show you an example. In this case, we were forecasting these values and the residuals that we were calculating here for example the residual in uh, the first case is our forecasted value is 4.5 and our actual value is 2 so our residual is minus 2.5 in this case similarly 0 0.5 here 1.5 here 0 0.5 here so the problem is we are getting these residuals and then when we will be evaluating our forecast accuracy by using some of the methods like root mean squared error or mean absolute error those will be based on these values the problem here is that the mean that we calculated here or our forecast value here it is based on the information in these values so essentially we are using the same information to predict the model hence our fitted model contains information about uh, these values so this value 4.5 our predicted value it contains information about the sales value during all these quarters so in this case our forecasts are not genuine because we are predicting the future that we already knew so what's the solution so the solution around this issue is to split your data into two parts we're going to call the first part training set and the second part the test set and we use training set to fit the model and test the accuracy of the model on the test set for example we can distribute our data into two parts we call the first part training set or training data and then we call this part test set or test data this part of the sample is called within sample and this part of the sample is out of sample or hold out sample now what we do is we split this data into two parts and then we use only this part of the data the training set to forecast and the forecast that we get we test the predictions of the model on this test set and we see how our model it is performing on this out of sample data points so this way we'll have better understanding of uh, the accuracy of the model as i said earlier if we use the same sample to train our data and test our data our data points will contain information about these uh, data points inside this data so it's not genuine forecast all we care about is how this method will perform if it is encountered with uh, a data point which is not included in this sample or which is here for example in the future because we do not know the value of uh, this data point it's going to come in the future and hence we cannot calculate uh, forecasting error for this and to get an idea about how our method will perform on this data point we split our data into two parts and we hold out a part of the sample and we train our data on uh, this sample and then test the predictions of uh, the model on this test set so that we have a kind of idea how our forecasting method will perform if uh, we try to predict a point like this point in the future using this method. So this is how you split your data into training set and test set. Essentially the idea here is to dividing your data into two parts and you train your data using a part of the sample and then check the predictions of the model on the test set and then you can uh, evaluate the accuracy of the model by calculating root mean squared error of uh, this uh, test data set. 
All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.